right. <laughs> I should be right. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. And we are on number 43. We are getting there. What is there, 170? Oh my God, there's so, <laughs> there's so much of this. It's never going to end. <laughs> Oh, right then. Let's let's get this on the. Let's try and get through some of these. But it's just so much. They're packed, packed. And then there was two. Awkward, isn't it? This is not awkward at all. <laughs> This is this is too much for me. This is too cringy for me. Fucking hell. Jesus. Right then. <laughs> oh, we missed we missed the humour. Let's have a look. Okay, midweek special. What I'm going to do today is a little bit of a roundup of all sorts of odds and sods. Um, thank you, first of all. Thank you, thank you for all the amazing feedback. I posed a question in the last weekend video whether you like. Wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. What day is this? What day is this? 9th of November. Oh, we're getting close. Don't know how many months. <laughs> Four months. <laughs> oh look! These side it's the covers. oil and water that won't mix. <laughs> I do love seeing that. <laughs> on the pan, and it's almost unanimous that you don't. Equal as much as I don't and she don't. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is definitely, definitely, definitely the side panels are coming off and I've got to make good of the bolt holes that are there so we're going to weld those up today I can make that a little bit of a simple skills welding up a hole, plugging up a hole because that's something you might have to do if you're doing this project yourself so there we are not going to be a proper simple skills because that involves welding but I just want to show you this as a prospect if you've got a hole in a piece of metal you want to weld it up show you how to do it using a sheet of copper or a piece of aluminium or whatever so that's another little thing and finally we have a reveal of the raw materials we're going to be using for the tail. What are you nodding for? It's funny. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the Whiskey Ice. Let's get stuck in. So, it has literally now turned into a show. Have you noticed? Right? This is like SMTV. Oh, God, my God, I'm getting on now. This is like SMTV Live. <laughs> or something like that, you know. In today's show, we are going to reveal our new game thing and we are going to do this so stick around and we will you know it's proper for the adverts kind of setup like this is what's coming next it's like i understand sitting down and saying right for this project i'm gonna i've decided that we're just gonna cut the back end off i'm gonna do this 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 do this do this do this and i know why because lots of people ask questions but this isn't that kind of thing this is now turned into from the beginning of this, the very unsurety, the cockiness has come from nowhere. I, I, it's not tangible. I, I wonder if you guys have noticed how much different it is. Like, if we go to, like, uh, number two. Like just number two. Random place in number two, for some reason. We've got these... Can you come in the front and show them the little Oh, yes. 
<laughs> Maybe it might be just in front of us. As we can, but before anything else, I just want to show you round it some of the things that. No, it might be. It might be. It might be. be pointless. I wouldn't have the inclination or the time to get involved in it. The money they cost is ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just listen to this because this is quite funny. <laughs> Fancy high dollar Street Fighter show bike. I honestly well, said that. Is often one of the most exciting. It comes just before the end when you just about roll it off the bench. Done. This is a fantastic time because you're kind of planning, you're thinking it out. But before you do anything else, if you're going to do this kind of thing, this is a real world build. This is not going to be a fancy high dollar street fighter show bike. I honestly said that before. Show bikes to me are pointless. I wouldn't have the inclination or the time to get involved in it. The money they cost is ridiculous. They're never worth it. You might as well chuck your money down the betting shop. Honestly, a bike needs to be ridden. Street fighters are about buy a buy an old bike and, and repurposing it into something you can use something that's just made to be ridden and is loads of fun and is a bit raggedy and is cool on this particular one this is exactly what we're going to do i'm going to try and get as much of that ghastly weight off it as we can but before anything else i just want to show you around it some of the things that have been done some of the interesting things some of the things that are confusing and some of the little telltale things that tell the story of this bike welcome back yeah it's a bit more fluid, I'll give it that. But it's quite funny that you said that. Any road, we've upgraded, upgraded the camera. As you can tell. Okay, just have to do some remedial work for this first. But Penny would like me to show you, because she likes you to realise how she suffers for our road. Oh, I suffer. There's the temperature, can you see that? That's the temperature, can you see? What is it, actually? I can't see. Eight degrees. What is it? You fucking... Puff. Mm, yeah. Ten degrees Hello. centigrade. Hello. What is that? In Eleven, but whatever. English old money. I know that's not mega cold, That's 50, cold. 50 degrees Fahrenheit in there, so ten degrees. It's not cold. That's normal workshop I know, but it's cold. It is chilly. Uh, it's chilly outside. We've only just put the heater on, so that's why it's cold. Yeah. But normal working temperature for a workshop's about... 17, 16, 17, 18 degrees, but then, then everything's easy. But it's winter. Mm -hmm. Welcome to it. Toughen mm -hmm. you up. So now we are. Mm -hmm. Right, take, take these covers off, and then we can see what we're going to do about it. Look at that. We get to see the best angles when Penny's on the camera. Oh, we do, because she holds it still. <laughs> I'm sorry to see it. So it's, as we said, almost unanimously, you voted, if you call it that, to have these. Well, yeah, you asked people, if you can call it that. No, you asked people and they give you their their opinion, which in a sense is a vote. You know, you either put them and say, I, or whatever, do whatever, you tick a box or whatever, it's still a vote. That's what a vote is, you put it out to the public in some way exposed and you gave us loads and loads of suggestions on different ways that we could go about covering them up doing it differently and i won't go into each what each one was but certainly having them visible and having this panel visible like that rather than having these cover plates over the top um, chicken wings was it ducks wings all kinds of fun things that you call them so you know so you could call them the wings yeah. i mean i've got some raw materials there i'm they're cool i've got the rear they're cool to still do. I've got all sorts of things I can cut them and you know, I will recycle that so the work that went into that is not lost. Um, now this I'll recycle that by putting it in the recycle bin. It's just next, next little bit what I've got to do. I've got the recycle bin even textile, but fuck it. Um, now that I'm not bolting those to this, these bolt holes are superfluous and I need to get rid of them. I want them welded in. And that's usually a pretty difficult way, difficult thing to do, uh, certainly on big holes. But I'm going to have a little go. Uh, it's not that difficult, it really isn't. You just... See, it's, it's, right, let's just, I'm sorry, but let's just break this down. This is the problem, right? Oops. This is the problem. ...thing to do, uh, certainly on big holes. But I'm going to have a little go. Uh, it's not... I'm, I'm going to have a little go, which when you say I have a go at, that's not confident. That's not, you know what you're doing. 
difficult, really isn't. You just put uh, a piece of copper on the back. It's not that difficult, it really isn't. We said something before that. Are superfluous and I need to get rid of them. I want them welded in. And that's usually a pretty difficult way, difficult thing to do. So it's usually a pretty difficult thing to do. Let's start with that. A pretty difficult thing to do. Uh, certainly on big holes, but I'm going to have a little go. Uh, it's not that difficult, it really isn't. You just put uh, a, a piece of copper on the back and you weld the other side and you fill up like a little puddle. Uh, I'm going to have a go at it, see how it goes. If it doesn't... I'm going to have a go, let's see how it goes. It's not that difficult, it's pretty difficult. Fuck me. Work. It doesn't work, I can always back them with... Now this is what happens if I fuck it up. This is bloody, what is it called? Pressure washing. What was it called? I can't remember. I heard it in a live stream of someone saying when you, you clean, you know, you you, you kind of you you back you backpedal, but you're not backpedaling because this is not after the fact. So there'll be a word. Some metal and then fiberglass over where the holes are, so I can just tack a little piece of metal in, and it will just be body worked away. So when it's finished, mm -hmm. it'll be beautiful. But either way, I'm going to try and literally try and plug welding first because I really do like that concept and I want that to be, if possible the way we're going to go. So let's set the welder up, see how this goes. If possible, that's the way we go. Well, you're either going to do that or not. Or maybe you could do one and go, mm, this isn't going to work. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Uh, okay, um, just a quick explanation of what plug welding what is. is the, look at the... <laughs> a gangster. Uh, what is with the cap? Fuck the cap. I mean, I know someone's going to say it's because it's balding. Well, get over yourself. <laughs> so I've got all this hair just to fucking make the point. <laughs> well, I've got it. Keep it. Um, I've got these unwanted holes now. The bolt holes. Let's this again. Again. From the covers. I'm just going to weld them up. Or at least I'm going to start. I'm going to have a go at one or two and see what they come out like. And all that involves really is come on the inside. I'm going to weld from the inside. I'm going to use this little piece of copper as a backing plate. Now, copper... Oh, you... That'll heat up quick. It's not very big, is it? Probably, if you don't know anything at all about welding, it uses... <laughs> hey, Del, you should listen to this video. <laughs> ...electrical current. Um, quite simply, you put the earth strap against the jaw, and then the live comes out of the end of the welding gun, and as that makes an arc and a contact, it's a bit like when you put a spanner accidentally across your battery, you get that, tsh, that spark, it arcs as you put positive to negative. Well, you deliberately do that against the metal and it welds together as it as the metal liquefies, the two pieces of metal as it gets extremely hot. The amperage coming out the end of this is set by the welding machine. So you set it to however many amps is relevant to melt the metal. If it's super thick metal, you need loads of amps. If it's super thin metal like this, you need more well, like this sheet metal, this sheet steel, then you need very few amps and it will just melt the metal. As it, melts, as it turns that metal into a liquid, it then will mingle with itself and become one piece of metal. And that's basically why welding is just the strongest way there ever is ever of joining two pieces of metal together. But if you introduce a piece of non-ferrous metal, a piece of copper or brass or aluminium or something like that, it will not weld to the steel. You can only weld steel to steel. You can weld stainless steel to mild steel, you can do it, uh, it will be a compromised weld because it will rust because the stainless steel is then compromised the minute you weld it to mild steel but ultimately the two pieces of steel, albeit slightly different styles or types of steel, they will melt together. But <laughs> oh, I'm just going to leave him to it, <laughs> I'm amazed. Well, will not melt to steel and will not melt to aluminium. So the principle is, if you do a plug weld, you come on the back like this, down inside here. You take this little piece of copper sheet, you put it like that on the back of this hole, and I use the weld gun and I just press the trigger, set the arc going, and I fill up that hole with weld. Now the weld will not stick to this piece of copper, it will only stick to this steel. So the Hope is, I mean, that's a big hole to plug weld. That's a good eight mil hole. So it may or may not work, I don't know, but it will stick all the way around, all the way around the outside. It will oh, see this, especially after that explanation. Stick and form another little piece of sheet metal. And then hopefully when I take this piece of copper away and I have a piece of sheet metal left, but on the back will be pretty flat, flat enough to put a, 
a little flat disc over and make good. Remember, the whole thing's gonna be body worked at the end. So it only needs to be strong and roughly flat. It doesn't need to be too pretty, okay? So let's show you what I mean by plug weld. Set this up. Now I'm gonna use the piece of copper because that's the best thing to back any plug weld with. I'm gonna use a big block of alloy. This is an old, hands up, recognizes that. It's an old um, headlamp mounting bracket from a big upside down fork which I've had for years just a spare one and it's 10 mil thick solid piece of billet alloy that again it will not stick to the job what is that for I don't know what that's for and because it's large because it's not like he knows what that's for thick it will draw the heat away from this metal so as I build up that weld it will draw up the heat into itself and hopefully it won't overheat and just blow holes in the metal too much Let's set it all up. Right, there we are. Turn that off a little bit. I'm going to distort it. There we are. Distort it. <coughs> I hope your plug welds are as successful as these tacks. <laughs> yeah, strap on. And that's the first hole. Strap on. Yeah. We're all excited. Have a little go with. So if you set that up on the tripod pen so you can mm -hmm. look away. We'll get this set up. And hopefully, you should make a good plug world. I was told so many stories. I kept them in my stomach. Lies of truth, fake smiles of blood money. Circles now. I lost cars at a loss for words. Trying to keep my tone down. What I'm saying is absurd. Unusual. Context unique. Buried in the depths of metaphor. Right, there's the first one. Take it off for a little surprise. Let's see what the back looks like. Stick. <laughs> there we are. Coming close. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. What we've got there is like a little plug. Is it? On the back. That's just a little puddle that's filled up. I'll show us it. And then. you just go across it, stitch at a time. And there we are. Can you see that close? Yeah, nice. It's not nice at the minute, obviously that's flush though. What's nice is if you look at it that way, there's not a big blob of weld there. It's nice and flush and a flat disc will just flatten that out in a few minutes. And there we are. And so the other... When we when he gets his flap disc and just touches it, remember it's only mill thick when he touches it. Let's see if there's any witness marks or is it completely gone? Great thing is as well when you're doing that, uh, is that if you bolt a big block of heat sink to the job, then as you're welding round it, I mean you can go round it like a spiral into the center, you can go across it like a tack, it depends how you want to do it. But when you're doing that, I mean that is now reasonably warm because it will draw the heat out. So that will stop the panel itself from buckling too much because you're drawing away the excess heat into a heat sink, which is... It's a millimeter thick, it's gone molten. <laughs> More important, there we are, right, to the next one. Actually, most buckling, a lot of well, put this way, a lot of buckling happens as it shrinks and contracts. Right? That's what usually happens. Pull the infinite strings, reconnect the ends, and pretend to justify the means. Parallel, we're reading the same page. Turn days in the literature, simple as loose change. It was perfect, or at least that's what I'm told. Courage is dead, spending my life fearing the cold. I was useless, feeling like dead. We're using every clamp in the drawer here. That's got a double clamp there for some reason. It looks like he's doing it different every single time. There's no real method to it, is it? And it looks like they're getting shitter and shitter and shitter. Um, I'll tell you what. Because there are, like I said, people, people message me all the time saying, Matt, I'm not even into... Nothing to do with engineering. Um, you, you I, I should do this actually more often um, to show you what good ones look like. There we go. Look at them. See little fucking. And this guy's got a um, look at this fucking hell a DIY guide. Yeah, what's this say? Uh, welding through the hole. Right, so don't weld the outsides. Come out to it. Uh, in the centre of the hole, uh, contracting. The back sheet, of the, um, contacting the back sheet of the metal is important. The arc against the back sheet, rather than on the edge of the hole. This is lapping, um, obviously. Weld penetration. This is 
upload world. Alright. Uh, have we got a uh, what is plug welding? It's an actual plug. Um, these are all plug welds. Let's look at a um, rosette. Oh, there's a nice one. Not I love these little pictures. They're really quite good. Uh, where is? Um, Oh, where is it? Where is it? Uh... Oh, that's it, spell it. It's another word for plug welds, but I'm looking for something that looks like that's another way to do it. Because if you, you you can actually drop a bit of material in, like a coin, in a sense, and then fill it up like that. I'm just going to see if there's any hole filling, just just you know filling up a hole. So what he's trying to do, it, you could say it's, it's kind of like this, but it's not. Um, but no, it's another bad one. Not a bad one. I mean a a bad example. But yes, you, you can, they can look pretty if you get what I mean. Um, what about filling a hole, Mig? Filling a hole, Mig. Um, oh, look, here we go. I'm hoping one of these days I go to a video. I like the little. I don't like minions, but I think that's pretty cool. Builds his torch. Uh, filling holes. We all love filling holes. <coughs> What's he saying? And you just, you just blob in uh, little balls of weld just to the outer edge of it, and then once you've got a few of those built up, you can give it one good zap. Yeah. Look at it! Look the hell! <laughs> right, if he, if this guy does a good job, I might have to watch this video because he's doing this floating. Wow! Yeah, let's go back. Actually, I want to see him do this floating. By the time you've got around here, you'll be able to zap the whole. Because he's not in. using a backer or anything. This is amazing. A, a, he's, he's doing it floating. I'm sorry, I'm impressed. <laughs> so I, I'm learning here. <laughs> I've never done it floating. So hitting the side, hitting another side. So you're kind of making like a, a bottom with a triangle, I suspect. Have you noticed it's very slow? He's, he's, he's looking, he's taking his time. Well, then at the end, it just gives it one good blast. And moving. So the point is, is when you finish them back, do they disappear? And that looks like it has. And that looks like it has. And that has. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. See, there's that tiny little shit stain. I'd be happy with that if I did that floating. Okay. Flat them off. That's the back side of it. So I did that at uh, 17 volts on the MIG. 
All right, so that is it for my little quick video tip on uh, welding up holes in car body panel stuff. Let's go. Yeah. Um, I don't really, I don't do that much MIG really. That's amazing. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the guy did it floating, right? We know Backer. That's that's that, that's, and his holes were about the same size as Dell's, so it's a good example. I'm so glad I found that. That was just totally by accident. Um, oh shit! Oh, you'll be able to see on the video. I, I'll I'll try and remember. I always forget. I'll try and remember and put a link or a a, a link, or I'll find the name of the channel. Sorry, I fucking couldn't completely forgot. <sighs> That's not what that guy was doing. He's just he's just stroking that across like a fucking retard. And that's why they look like that, if you can see them. That. Mmm, yummy! <laughs> See, look, the guy, right, the guy had his, his hand here, and he had the, his other hand here like this, and he's bang, bang, like a fucking sniper, bang, bang, move around, bang, right, he's supporting himself on the table, he's not doing this, look how Del's hands all the way out here, right, he's just floating, elbow up like this, ah, ah, like a pterodactyl, right, giving it, okay, well, it feels like it's almost he has to whip it in. Laughing at my own joke again. Okay, now you sad bastard. Look, it's just nothing's nothing stable. Everything's rocking. How do you do that? Ah, oh, dude, no. You see, and this is the thing. If he just looked it up, right? found that guy's video then he could do a video imagine if he just said right this is how you do it and it goes bang 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 like that guy did and then you watch him flatten it back and she's coming in close and he flattens it back and goes there you go i'd be like holy fuck del's actually quite good at that <laughs> you know what i mean but instead we've got this jug look at that you got to remember, that guy did that without a backer. Without a backer, just floating. Floating! Because I was just thinking, I, I never had to do, because I was just thinking, one of the reasons why that's useful is obviously if you've got a car, a car door, you can't get onto the back of it most of the time. I, I I come from a generation. I know this might shock some of you guys, but I come from a generation where we don't weld up that shit anymore. <laughs> People scrap cars. I, I, I don't. I don't I've, I've had like three cars in my life. I just don't do cars, right? So this whole idea of repairing, but you know, getting your old XR3 i and like welding the the seams or anything that, that that's not me. That's that's nothing I've ever had to do. Right. Question is, do we take a deflect? It seems heavy. But when I roll my hands with steady, go on, Penny, do us proud. Don't stand in the sparks. There we go. Yes. Penny can come round every day, right? Great. Look at that. <laughs> and you can actually see that's the hole. That's not penetrating. He hasn't done anything. He actually has done what that picture showed you. Look at that. She's so proud of her fella. There's a picture, and I can't find it. It was just literally a minute ago, um, where you have, you know, oh, God, see, that's not the best way to do this, is it? You have your material like this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Oh, for God's sake. Paste. Flip it the other way, you div. 
There we go. It had it like this, and it was, you know, it was some bloody book world or whatever. But it was saying that you've got the world blobbing in like this. Right, like that. Blob. Blob. And you've missed this bit, right? It said there's a void. I'll see if I can actually find it. Let's have a quick gander. It's the plug world. It. Plug world. Images. It was... Oh, no, 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 no. There, there we go, there we go. Look, look. I should have just done that. See, it says lack of fusion in the corners. Incorrect torch angle. There we go, you see? These, you can look these things up, they'll tell you. So, where are we? We're there. Oh, uh, no, we're not. We're not. Don't save that. Oh, we're not there either. Yeah, so that's what that is. Because this is the bit where he put his his backer and he just, he hasn't touched the corners. Right? Same thing. Well, that's just a fucking mess. But yeah, same. But if you can see the circle like that. Look, every single one. Every, that's, that one's so much bigger than the fucking hole. The hole is this big. What the hell happened here? You can do it in... Give it some fucking rap from fucking the east side of London. You can give it that shite, and you can give it the fucking black with the little fucking film lines on it, and the slow motion, all this shite. You can't cover up what we can see. It's in HD, you bellend. Let's speed it up. Now I'm fully, I, I think... What is it there? Two, four, six, eight, maybe, maybe nine, maybe seven, uh, maybe eight. So 16 holes. You'd think after, let, I'll watch that video. And let me talk him through it. Let me say, I've never, I, I, I'd, I'll have a go at doing this. I'm literally going to have a go at doing this. And do the floating one. And I'll be like, right, so. You're 16 holes though. By the time you get to the, after the first eight, you should have gone from this shit to that just do your first one do your second one look at them both this one and two and then for the rest of the other six watch this video right you can come back and look at this video as much as you want pause it rewind it do what you want and sit there and copy what he does i just want you to copy what he does and if he does by the time he gets the sixth one and the sixth one he wipes back with a grinder oh my god it's not there oh there's a tiny tiny fucking tiny bit i'm like you see then you go around to the other side, try again. No, not that fucking wavy shit. Spot, 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 spot. And then tries and then stops. Wipes them back. Don't just do them all. Wipe them back, them two, and go. That one, the first one's good. The second one isn't. Right. When I do the third one, tack, 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 tack. And then do the fourth. Uh, no, then you do that and you wipe it back and you go. Right, maybe I should try and change something. On the fourth one, back, 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 back. Then he realises it's his angle or he, he, how he's wobbling his arms or whatever. He should be able to do this floating. That guy fucking can. Whoa, 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 what is that, oh, we know what that, as I say, what is that seam, we know what that seam is, that's the shit he did on the other side, the brace. Fuck me. Alright, get rid of this shit music. Here we are. Here we go. Um, returned to just the holes cut, so there's no world holes now. You can see up just no world holes. If you look on the inside, they're pretty horrid. You know, it, it, it kind of spits and pops against the copper because it's not the proper connection. But it, Nonsense, you're talking shit. It does form a liquid pool, and as you can see, it does the job. I'm really, really chuffed with that. It will need a little bit of body work in along there, but it's, it's going to be the lost shit. I'm going to get that anyway, and I've got some cunning plans where this is going to go next. Right. Now, as requested at the weekend video, if you want to see it on the bike with the holes showing to see what that looks like, I'm not going to leave the holes just as they are. 
Um, this is Wednesday at the time you're watching this, and I don't know whether by the weekend I've come up with one, two, or three different solutions, but there are dozens in the comments box on the last weekend video, last Saturday, mm -hmm. yeah. and they've all given us inspiration. So I've got a couple of ideas, and like I said, this is Wednesday now. I love what... how this cutout frames that shit world. <laughs> Linish the backs of them as well. I don't know why people... If you can get to the back of a weld, do the back of the weld. Watching this, I just wanted a week to let this... Extra, it's just extra material. It just doesn't need to be there. Fucking hell, no pride, no fuck all. Mature in my head to find the right direction. There's a couple of great ideas. If you, if you took the trouble to go and get CAD drawings and to make them up and send them, and some drew on a piece of paper with a pencil and took a photograph, which is how I would do it. Can I show us some of them. And that was great because those ideas, those illustrations, were exactly what we needed to give us that third insight. Because honestly, we can't think of everything coming back. No. She comes up with some good ideas, I come up with some okay ideas now and again, and you come up with some great ideas, and I think we combine it all, and we make something pretty cool. So Apart from, I can't get my hand in this key, you're all fucking knobheads. Think about the speed though, I don't need to plug it in, I want it wireless. <laughs> and all that shit. So now, those covers are gone. If we think about it, right, those, these covers, the only reason why he's making such a mince meat of this, a mince pie of it, is because he doesn't like them. He thinks they look shit. So now all of a sudden he's like, ah, oh, 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 on everyone's ideas. You lot, oh, you're right, oh, your ideas are awesome. That's the only reason, because he, he's sucking his own dick, right? All the other ideas that everyone said, that that looks shit, that looks shit. That looks, he's like, fuck off, fuck off. I know what I'm doing, fuck off. Why do you suggest these things when I've already done it? Fuck off. I think this is this. Fuck off. It's my bike. I can do what I want. Fuck off. <laughs> they are. There it is now. Back with the holes in. Um, it kind of needs more than just the holes, but it's going to get that. It's just deciding what in it then. looks too lame with just holes. It, it looks does. like a cop-out. Yeah, it is just, just too lame. There's, there's mm. more that could be done with that. I'm going to hold it on the bike so you get a proper look at it. Oh. Oh, kicked her out. Okay, clear that now. Clear the smoke. Oh, no, she's moving. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, right, okay, there we are. Um, a lot of you asked last weekend, can you see them with without the covers on? And there we are, without the covers and without... Those, so, in my mind, because there's a line here... I then kind of draw a line in my mind. So we can actually do that. Uh, and the way I mean... Come on. Come on! Oh, it's there. It just doesn't want to... Yeah, you fuck. You work for Dell, don't you? <laughs> you work for Dell. Right, so... Because... What were you doing? No, I want a line in yellow. Because. Doesn't his hand look fake? Like a fake person's hand. Like a mannequin's hand. Right, there. Because there's this line. Right, like. Well, it's kind of like that. Because there's this line. Right, well, forget this bit. My mind automatically goes, well, surely because there's a curve there. I'm, I'm not looking at the thing, the holes. I'm looking at the yellow line. So there. My mind does that. But I do... Oh, orange. I do agree that you could have a line more. Forgetting the twist at the end, you could have a line actually undo that let's start at the bottom i do agree that you could have a line like this <laughs> i'd start oh, it's just okay that's that's does it make sense because this has kind of got a dent to it that follows these to a degree it's just all over the place and then 
if you just touch the tops of these circles, something's not right, is it? Something doesn't feel right. I feel there should be. Let's do a dotted line. I feel that there should be a line from there to there. If you're going to do this, it should be at least like this. All right, something like that. I'm trying to best fit here. So I've got four points for all my dots. And he, he can do this, you see. He could take these pictures in his own videos and just go, right, there's a sweeping line, right? Oh, it's not that, because it's not a straight one either. It's not a fucking straight line, is it? Because a straight line would be bloody fucking like that. So it's not a straight line either. It, it's not curved, it's not straight, it's not... Eh, it's all over the place, isn't it? Fucking me. And these things matter, but whatever. It, it's this one. It's too. It's too far away from that one because these are two two small diameters, two large diameters. The two you either keep this distance, or you you, you do something. Not just not that. The bolt holes now. They've ground back really nicely. That's you know all I can say is that's how you do plug welding. You've heard it here, you see? He's not a smarmy bastard. He doesn't tell people what to do. He just tells you to do it. He just tells you that's the way it is. In that sense. Um, plug welding is used for more than that. You want to join two pieces of sheet metal together, back to back, you can do it the same way. But that's good for filling holes. That's plugging up holes, plug welding. So they're all done now. Um, but they're not going to stay that way. Not by any means. They're all different sizes. There's been some amazing suggestions, haven't there, Ben? Yep. Really, really clever. And some of the things that you've come up with have been cool. Some of the drawings have been really ace, and I absolutely love that. And they're not going to stay just like I'd that. Love to see them. Uh, Frenching is a great idea. Many of you talked about Frenching, which is the process of building a tube down inside, which I did on the front. Um, that would work great on these rear three, but if you look here, you've got quite clearly you've got access to that pipe. And if you put, you couldn't put anything in there because that's way too close. You couldn't French that one. And to have that one not done and then these done would look wrong. Also the different sizes. So I think Frenching them would accentuate the fact that they're odd sizes a little bit too much. I wanted them odd sizes as they come back down. I may actually take that one out just a little bit, oh. just to kind of gradient them a bit, you know? So two oh. big ones, then a smaller one, I don't know. But look, that looks pretty cool. And that's okay for now. It's what, midweek now? Mm -hmm. So at midweek point, we're just gonna take the rest of this week to have a little think about exactly what we do with that. Penny's got some great ideas, haven't you, Pen, with a little lip. Um, yep. I think it was like this. If you take a look at that, uh, this is the, the old filler cap from the top tank. Um, the way this works by swaging it in. Um, if you had it in. some sort of lip, you said like a lip around the outside. Yeah, half like a half moon. So like a little crescent lip. Crescent. Just a little cap. Radius. You know, hands up who remembers cap sleeve t-shirts. <laughs> if you're old enough. Um, just a little cap around each one to give it... No, I'm not that close to a coffin. A little bit of an edge, I don't know. Well, a couple I hope not. <laughs> I said uh, tubes like um, Mustang or Spitfire exhausts. If you look at a Spitfire aircraft, the exhaust coming out the front so you could have... So kind of right from long tubes right to little caps. There's all sorts of options and I think the right one is out there. We just need to have a little think about it. Um, that's the... Hmm. Let's talk about this for a second, Del. Remember, the bullshit. So, this thing is basically this shit. Right, I remember it's facing. This is this is forward. Right, this, uh, I know it's really fucking stupid. That's the travel, and these have got holes in. So these have got one, two. We'll just put three in. I can't be bothered. I've run out of room as well. These have got three holes in. Remember, Dal. Three holes. They're not. These are almost mirror perfect. And uh, let's just use a paintbrush. And the air is going to go whoosh, like this. Whoosh, whoosh. Remember, because he put that cowboy cover on the front, which was going to divert the air to go whoosh, like this. But if you put trumpets on it, basically, uh, just go fatter. There we go. You put trumpets like this on it that come out like a Spitfire, a, a Merlin engine's exhaust. That ain't gonna happen anymore, is it, though? Oh. Oh. Wah!
<laughs> Most important thing. Just check the other side. Right. So as you can see in here as well, there's exactly the same concept. There's stuff like a big virtually unmovable rubber hose there. Pretty cool. And there's a pipe there. So we are restricted a little bit. But having done this, like a lot of you suggested, I do like it. I do like to be able to see inside there. Um, it's quite nice, but I think they're too unfinished just as plain coals. So that is the case this week. Just I just did a little bit of work on the front here as well. I just brought that lip up just a little bit because it was asymmetric. There was a little bit more meat this side than this side. So I put a little bit more metal on that. It is a tiny bit more perforated, but it's all getting body work, so that's cool. Just really gradually fine-tuning this, just finessing it to give it that 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 final little bit of perfection <laughs> to it. <laughs> Fuck me, you are funny. It's done. I paint it. Move on to the tail. Many of you said, uh, let's do this over here. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, it's just quiet. It's just quiet down there. Yeah, so I've you suggested to take these covers off, leave it bolted on there, and get on with the tail, and then come back to it later on once you've decided. There's a couple of problems with that. First of all, I think like all these projects, oh they're a group of mini projects all laced no, together. It's to nonsense. It's all the fucking bullshit. Just, yeah, if, if you think, I don't know yet, just move on somewhere else. Make the finished bike, they truly are. You have to do that. Go to the big custom shops, then the project manager on a custom car build or something will give individual jobs to individual people in the workshop and they'll bring it all together as one. Ah, car. but this is how it works, Sunshine. They'll have some, right, so Andy does the the, the plate bending and the tin snapping and the, what does he call it, the planishing and all this shite right? and then you have someone else who does the paint you have someone else who does this and if he can't get on and spray that he'll get on with another project so this might be booked in for the 14th, the week of the 14th to get sprayed and it gets delayed because sheet metal prices go through the roof or some container ship falls into the river Nile and fucks everything, whatever and you go right well you can't so you don't just sit there and wait or it doesn't i'll paint it with something else <laughs> it's a tin of emulsion or i'll just paint he does he goes and paints something else right he's got other stuff to go and do so he does that instead and a manager manages it he shuffles shit around that's what he does you don't just say we're going to keep on doing this fucking it into the ground we're going to keep on putting stuff on it and taking it off and putting stuff on it and taking off drill holes here no we don't need them now fill them that's called wasting time oh and materials that's why you have a project manager on certain bigger builds that sort of thing but on a bike build like this i want the belly pan finished it has to be finished before i can move on to the tail there's a little bit of the kind of obsessive thing i want to be able well, the fact of the matter is it's just a couple of holes and are you going to put flutes on them or something Draw a line under it like I did with those kind of. I'd hate to revisit that now. I'd hate to have to go and do stuff to that. What I've got to do to that now is put a bit of mesh inside to cover up. But isn't that revisiting it? Isn't that re? Oh, oh I've got to. That. Isn't that revisiting it? Isn't that changing your mind? Isn't that doing something? A little tiny LED marker light, and then get the airbrush paint done. Same as this. I've just got to put the speedo in, and and that's a temporary thing. Anyways. Exactly. So. What do you mean a temporary thing? So, the fact of the matter is we're doing it again. We're doing exactly the same thing again, is that it's not finished. So then get the airbrush done. I don't want to revisit them, and I don't want to revisit this you either. Be, you, know, you are revisiting. What do you think revisiting means? For fuck's sake. <laughs> side of it is, more importantly, the tail unit will be dictated, designed, and inspired by the way this eventually looks. And with some of your amazing ideas that we've had over the last... Weekend or so. Right? I can't wait to see what of that becomes part of the tail. Now, let's be careful here, because I kind of know what goes on. Let's... We need to pay attention to what happens to this tail that has anything to do with the belly pan. The final product. Not the first thing. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> the week still coming in to this day. Honestly, wherever this ends up, Will... I don't know about you lot, but I'm really quite excited. I love watching this. It's it, it, it's good to watch. It's funny as fuck, don't get me wrong. But it, there is a part of what happens next? What happens next? What is he going to do with the tail? It, there is that. And I get why people watch this kind of stuff. This is both. It is tragic 
and exciting. Inspire what then goes into the tail. I may not chop holes in the tail, but whatever I do, it will be inspired by this, and that can't happen if this isn't finished. So you see my point. It's got to be finished whether I like it or no, not. Because adding some flutes to it is the same as adding a LED to that. It's the same as fucking around with a speedo that's temporary. I've put a lot into it so far. What's the thing? Uh, we had a delivery. Because we, we had a mad idea. Now, <laughs> it's that time again. We've got some tailpiece stuff. Now, obviously, with this... Whoa, this you can't pack, move on. And thing now, getting in the final stages... Oh. Immediately 180 in. We've got eight or whatever, two, however many of the somethings to weld over this just to finish no, that. He does, he see, he's bullshitting. He's play, he's sucking on everyone's balls. Well, he, people think they are. He's got his finger up their ass. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that he's, he's everything he's just said is just bullshit. He knows exactly what he's going to do. He's just placating everybody. And now he's already got the stuff ready for the tail. That's that then painted over and done, which then we on to the tail. So what I've done, just because I need the materials for any part of the build up front before I get involved, I've got this. This is something that we've got as a piece of donor material. Mm -hmm. Donor material. Is it under the tank? For the tail piece. This is going to be the founding shape, or you just know what it is, don't you? Should we do one of them things that join us next week for the reveal? We didn't intend this to Cut happen. Together. No, this is not a theme that we intend. Literally, ah, what are you talking about? No. Honestly, we haven't opened this. Just box. shapes. Have you looked inside this yet? No. It could be a load of. Well, it might. We haven't looked inside this box yet. Have you looked inside this box yet? <laughs> one after the other. <laughs> be pink for all I know. Could be what? Pink. Could be. Well, it doesn't matter what it is. Right. Know. We got this. Oh look, and, and the tank. That's a big box, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> we got this to be the donor um, item that we make the tail from. This is going to be the structural central part of the tailpiece. Got it in readiness for. Use scissors to poke a hole in something and then just rip it. Just rip it, you fucking wimp. Week, couple of weeks time when we get started. Oh look, that like Christmas. Mm. Then we get the Harley tank by the size of it. I'm gonna wait till you've opened it. Should we just cut Go to on. an advert now? So we... <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ready? There you go. <laughs> oh, so we're now going to ruin a Harley Davidson tank. Do you know how, exp how expensive is that? Mm. Right, there we are. God, shut the weight that. Oh my. Right. Right. This is a Harley Davidson breakout tank. Um, this is what we're going to use for the basic central theme of the tailpiece. And it's quite He's difficult. It's with a hammer, it's pissing right off to explain quite how that's going to work at this early stage. This is mint. I mean, we were looking around at various different uh, big twin tanks. What I wanted, what I want from this is this section at the side. The tailpiece itself is not going to be the traditional booted up the arse German street fighter type tail. I just hate those things. They're just awful. They were kind of passe in the 80s and they're even worse now i they're agree they are horrible but i'm sure the tails were flicked up is because one people don't have any artistic talent but number two is because of wheeling i think i, I don't know why because normal bikes clear it seems a bit stupid to me but if you're going to go like end or like i say i believe it's just a, an opinion that the street fighter look was very much influenced by guys who were stunting a little tiny tailpiece that's all booted up the back, that's stumpy and short. Awful stuff, hate it. Oh, I think they're horrible. I'm going to do something far more swooping. The tail's going to come on back. These pieces of the tail frame are going to be brought in and welded together and brought down slightly because the back of the tail of the bike is going to come down slightly rather than the usual up in yeah, the air. You see, you've got it's going to come down slightly to counteract this up that I'm not going to do, so it just stays where it should be. I'd, I'd never, I'd never move it. I'd never move it. I'd leave it where it is. 
thing because everybody does that. If you look at a Y2K, I absolutely love the back end of the Y2K superbike, and that's the thing with the helicopter engine, that mad thing that Jay Leno's got five off probably. One of those, that kind of tail is what's inspired it, so I want to... Okay, I remember it, I think. Is this what he's talking about? Oh yeah, it is, yeah. Oh my god, that's hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, no taste. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Oh, wrong thing. Crack on. A long, thin, rounded, very bulbous looking tail, and I've seen this every time I look at my fat boy. This is his neighbours. Who don't give a shit what he does. <laughs> I look at the tank on the side, that image there, that shape, that roundness at the front. Imagine, just come around this way. Yeah, so as you can see, the. Look horrible. The whole concept of taking that there. shape with this front edge here, picking up the bum stop. So, you can even do it. Ah. If that makes sense. It's quite easy. You just put it next to the bike and have her stand over there. It doesn't, because it don't look at it past there. If that section of the tank over this made sense. Hey, if you put your tripod with your camera, you can just sort of fucking relax. Put it on your, your bench, you can show it. Back as a, as a to a point. Mat. So it can kind of be like that way with a nice man. It looks like a top box. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Penny for your interjection. So the concept is, yeah big top box by Oxford. So the concept of it is that's where I'm going with it. You've got this will have to come back further. Um, it'll all have to be cut up, it'll all have to be chopped about. This stuff is proper thick so it'd be really easy to do. Uh, make using the metal framework make a seat unit so the seat will come down and across and up There'll be a short area for you for the rider to sit, so no fat blokes. And in that section at the back, I'm sure he makes it like proper midget, like he usually does. We'll have that section coming rear to a point at the rear. So there we are. I don't really want to give too much away, but the um, I'm hoping that you, with your imagination, can see again. If I hold it like that, forget for a minute that it's a Harley Davidson tank. Look at it at that angle. You see under tray. Mm -hmm. Race tail, mm -hmm. beautiful curved side. You can see the concept. I'm not going to give too much away. I've got lots and lots of oh, sure, does it? plans for this. Um, it's going to get cut about. It's going to get welded. I'm going to cut the center out, weld the sides together, reprofile them at a different angle, and obviously there'll be a little bit of work underneath to get rid of all this because you know I'm liking the look of this. And if I can turn that curvature there somehow into the under tray underneath, you see what I'm saying? Almost mm -hmm. looks like an under tray from there. Does it? Just a happy accident, okay? Yep. It really is. I mean, that's a pretty cool tank. I don't know what exact bike it's from. They said it's from a breakout. Um, but it looks there like it's got a regular fuel tank. Oh, I don't know, whatever it is, but it's a Harley tank. I thought got it from our resident Harley expert. I don't know if I can clue. Where was it? Sycamore Harley? Yep. Yeah, we just won it on eBay. Just bid it for it on, on an eBay sale. Uh, bid at the last minute, won it for £96, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's about 100 quid with the postage. I don't think that's a lot of money for a very inspired, very shapely tail end that's really going to bring the back end together. And it wasn't meant to be a tank bike. No, it wasn't meant to be a <laughs> tank bike. This is not a theme. This was never intended at the beginning. This is purely something that as soon as I conceived and thought about the, 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 the spot, sports the tank on the front, I thought I could do the same on the belly pan and then um, could I do this. I've been thinking about it for months and I finally come up with that, as you can tank see. Tank bike is a very good idea. That almost looks like it could be a tailpiece. You imagine your seat coming out the front, you know. It's all there, it's all there to be done, and there's loads and loads of potential because this being so thick, because Harley tanks are just I think one and a half mil thick steel. Bit of that. One and a half mil, steady. That is, it can be welded, it can, there's loads oh, and loads of fun. You can do all sorts with it. Not that shitty one mil Kawasaki rubbish. Half the problems we've had with the sports tank. Well, oh, you right. think that half a millimetre, do you know how big a half a millimetre is? He doesn't know how big a half a millimetre here it is. Oh, there we go. Are you doing it, Pen? Mm-hmm.
Okay, take your ride safe. Anything else? That's it, thank you. Okay, see you next time. Oh. Oh, where's the money? Hold on a second. I'll see you in a bit.